Hey guys, this is Arcane LP here for something different this time. This time I'm doing an update video. Uh, just gonna tell you what games I have, my past experience with them, and then at the end of this, you guys can tell me what game you want next, because I get the feel I'm getting close to the end of Quake 4. First off, we're starting off with Battlefield 2. Oh, and uh, by the way, these are going in uh, no specific order. But uh, Battlefield 2, I personally have no experience with this, so if this was chosen, I would have absolutely no idea what's going on. But, if I could find it here on my desk... Now, where is it? From the uh, manual that I have, it seems to basically be the average war game, just like everything else. So, uh, not too much to say here. Next off is Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War II. This game I have played before, and I have had extremely fun times. I've never actually beaten this game, which is really annoying, because there's one level that just kicks my ass every single time. Uh, but yeah, so if we played this game, I would have an enjoyable time doing it. Not to mention, I actually have a specialized flight chair for this. Like, uh, my dad and I made a... to breathe. My dad and I made a special console. Not a console. Well, yeah, sort of a console chair with a uh, throttle and a joystick so that we can play like that. Next off is Crisis. This game is probably one of my favorite games that I have for the computer. Uh, I love this game. Lots of good times. Most just screwing around having fun trying to find up, find weird shit that I can do. Mostly not following the story. But uh, if you do follow the story, it's a really fun game. And I honestly would not mind playing through this game again if you guys wanted me to. Uh, although I do have to say it has been a bit buggy on my computer seeing as uh uh what is it the screen sort of has flashes where uh it just sort of starts glitching out on me and all that and by the way I'm not sure if all these games work properly or not uh this is just off what I know cuz I've left out a few games cuz I know they don't work next is Doom 3 last time I played this it did work and uh, I haven't gotten that far into it, actually. Probably just, like, the first few monsters, and that's it. Uh, it's actually a very scary game. Probably the first game to ever actually scare me, because I don't scare easily. And if you guys want to take that as a challenge and tell me a game that I should play that's really scary, I can take you up on that. But please, for the love of God, do not say amnesia, because I have gone through that before. It is scary. But once you tell yourself, it's just a game, it's not anymore. Uh, next is Enemy Territory Quake Wars. Uh, I have no experience with this game, just as usual. Uh, I'm not quite even sure if it has a uh, story mode or not, because all that I've heard of it is online play. Uh, but if you guys know that there's a single player and you want me to do it, then tell me about it. Next is Fable, probably one of my favorite games I have for the computer, although I've said that about Crisis as well. And Blazing Angels is also really fun. But uh, Fable... Yeah, uh, I actually kind of wanted to do this as my first Let's Play because it's an extremely fun game that I would have a lot of fun doing. But I kind of wanted to leave a lot of the moral choice systems to you guys. So you guys tell me, do I kill this person? Do I save them? What missions should I do? What armor? What weapons? What skills? All of this stuff. How should I spend my experience? So yeah, if you guys think that uh, you'll actually tell me every episode or whenever I ask you to, then feel free to tell me about this game, and I will play it enjoyably. Next is Far Cry, which comes from the same developers that made Crisis, Crytek. Every single game they've made has Cry in the name. Far Cry, Devil May Cry, and Crisis. I'm not quite sure if there's another one, but meh. Anyways, uh, from what I know, Far Cry sort of... Well, actually, no, Far Cry came before Crisis, and it's sort of the same thing, where... Uh, you're one guy on an island, but no nano suit, obviously. And uh, you're fighting off these normal guys. Then when it gets closer to the end, there's a twist. I'm not going to spoil too much. So, yeah. Next is Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter by Tom Clancy. I don't know why I mixed up the order. But uh, I have no experience playing this first game, but the second game I've played, and it's quite fun. But if it's your first time playing through it can be quite slow because you're not quite sure how you're supposed to handle it but later on it gets very enjoyable so uh... now it's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, Graw 2 and yeah basically I just said it's a fun game 
uh, wouldn't mind less playing it, but I would probably have to speed up the missions and just post commentate over it. Next is Hellgate London. I have never actually gotten all that far into this game, but it is extremely fun with multiple different classes to choose from and tons of customization ways. This is a game sort of like Fable. I wanted to do this quite soon, but with all the choices that you can uh, have, it sort of annoys me in the fact that I want to give you guys some power over this. Next is Penumbra Overture, and I just love this image. But, um, yeah, not one of my favorite games. I've never actually played it, but uh, from what I have seen of it, it wouldn't quite be my style. But if you guys want me to play it, I will. Because uh, I know it has an interesting stealth aspect, which I am not good at. Oh, well. Next, if I could get to work on my computer, which would be a miracle, because I love this game, would be Spore. Uh, yes, a lot of people say this game is kitty and cartoony, not me. I love this game and the fact that you can do so much with your race, you can do anything really, it's all up to you, and however you want to raise or kill your guys, then you can do so. And currently, last but not least, is Unreal Tournament 2004. Uh, I have played a bit of this game. Uh, none of the story, just some uh, arena deathmatch with some AIs, just to get a hang of it. And it is a very damn difficult game when you first start off. But, anyways, uh, yeah, this game's story mode, I have no idea what it is, so if you guys want me to play it, vote for it. Uh, if you guys have any games that I didn't talk about here, because I know that these are all pretty old school. Uh, so, if you have any games that you want me to play, or you're recommending to me, uh, just leave a comment about it. If you guys have a game, like, you physically own a copy of the game and you'd like me to play it, uh, not quite sure if anybody would do that yet, but meh, then uh, tell me about it, I'll see what I can do, and hopefully I can get an arrangement to get it. So, uh, this is Arcane LP, till the next time, signing off.